So guys, some of you already in relations with Ukrainian ladies and some of you just going to start them, but all of you, of course, want to be successful. So I'm sure some of you even don't know that our Ukrainian ladies, practically as every lady all over the world, has her own fears. And she has her own fears, especially in the marriage with a foreigner. So I would like to help you today in this episode to identify and to be realistic about these fears because your main task will be to make her feel more comfortable and to release her fears in order you become successful in relations with your dream Ukrainian ladies. Welcome to another episode of Ask Vita and today we're gonna discuss with you top 10 main fears of Ukrainian ladies in the marriage with a foreigner. Before we get started, let me remind you that in our previous episode we were discussing sex relations with Ukrainian ladies. So if some of you miss it already, please find the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe our channel, to like our episode and to press notification bell button in this case, you never miss our next episodes, guys. So, guys, I want to let you know that now practically every second person in Ukraine wants to move abroad. All people have their own reasons, but most of them are highly motivated by the one and the main one, is to improve the quality of their life. So, you know, statistic claims that interracial marriages are very popular and very famous now and it's kind of trend even and now in Kyiv every 10th marriage it's the marriage with a foreigner but pessimistic statistic also claims that practically 50% of all these marriages inter interracial marriages they fails do you know why uh, i want to tell you that all ukrainian women majority of them they were well taught how to get married with a foreign man, but none of them were properly taught how to build successful, reliable relations with her husband and to create happy family life. You know, uh, mature and experienced and wise ladies, they already know and they can differentiate because they have some experience in their past. They can clearly understand what means romantic sweet period and what means routine everyday life and of course all this makes these two periods quite different i work with you guys every day and many years already and i start to hear often uh, complaints of foreign husbands for their ukrainian wives that behavior of Ukrainian ladies before wedding, it was quite different. They were more compromising, more kind, more soft, more acceptable, and they were actually good. But after wedding, these ladies start to become more insisting, demanding, capricious even. So, in general, they start to show their character in all its beauty. You understand what I mean? You know, uh, who from our local Ukrainian ladies get most disappointed. These ladies who has a lot of illusions, especially a specific type of ladies who is looking just for rich men. These people always have their pink glasses and uh, they're not self-fulfilling, they're not learning language, uh, they're not too much maybe educated sometimes and these people still dreaming about prince and fairy tale. But is it really so in reality? You know, guys, uh, what's the main and common mistake our Ukrainian local ladies still keep making? I guess no. So this is blind trust and being non-independent. I always recommend to my lady, until you have this sweet period, you need to get prepare yourself for the future there, abroad, thousands of kilometers away from your motherland, in completely new environment, which you need and you must to adjust and to adopt in. So, during this period, I would highly recommend ladies to start to learn language, traditions, culture, even laws of the country in which they are going to move. In this case, person will be prepared and, of course, the less illusions you have, the more prepared you are, so the less 
false hopes will occur as a consequence when you move there and in case if your marriage will fail. So guys, uh, let's start uh, to differentiate these top main fears of Ukrainian ladies and uh, I hope it will help you to learn more about your lady if you have already one or maybe it will help you in the future to understand your lady better and to help her to overcome these difficulties because otherwise I think every Ukrainian lady or every lady from all over the world who is planning to get married with a foreigner and to move completely to another country she will have her fears inside of her and your task is to lessen these fears and to help her to overcome them. So the first and the main, by my personal opinion, fear is to lost their children. What does it mean? You know, for every normal woman, for every normal mother all over the world, not only for Ukrainian ladies, to lose her child is the disaster. It's practically can be like the end of the life. I can't imagine the situation when somebody take my child away and uh, keep distance between us and uh, I couldn't communicate with my child. I don't know who feed my child, who put him in bed, what is she doing during the day, how is she sleep, if she's sick or not, what people are around her. You know, this is a very scary moment for every Ukrainian woman. But uh, let's speak about if she goes abroad. You know, if we have unhappy end and if the marriage fails, uh, by Ukrainian law, no matter what, unless the situation, if Ukrainian woman is not a homeless person or drug addict or like she mm, abusive person, child always will stay with mother, no matter what. This is a must. But in, Europe, in European countries, you know, court will always take a look first of all on who can provide better and best conditions for the child. And of course, for our mom's immigrants, it will be much more difficult to win this lawsuit uh, because she's first of all juridically illiterate, she's not ready financially, she's not ready of course psychologically because she feels alone, nobody support and she's in a foreign country. And of course, sometimes people even break law, not intentionally, but trying to escape and trying to keep her child next to her. This is the main one of the most biggest fears of every woman. Because of this, some of you guys asked me in previous episode, in your comments, uh, let's talk about marriage contracts. We will do in some next episodes this topic as well, but I want to mention that even some ladies already who is experienced and wise enough, they think before about this situation because it can happen in lives and people want to protect their children. They want to stay with them for all their life. And in this case, people can even sign and prepare this marriage agreement, even not because of money, even not because of your property, even not about sharing some incomes or bank accounts or whatever. The main reason is just to protect fate of the child, to be sure that in case of divorce, she will always can be with the child, no matter what. So please remind this main fear and uh, Try to understand her, mother is always a mother. And you know this, I'm not going to argue about uh, different types of mothers because all of you know, not every mother in all over the world can be good and perfect. Sometimes the person is not appropriate parent, but still, if it's a good person and if you have some personal problems, personal issues between both of you guys, don't make child struggle. Anyway, I think every child, if his mother was good to him, will always prefer to keep more relations still with mother. So try to be compromising. If you got in this situation, if you got to this trouble, uh, try to understand your wife as well, maybe your ex-wife already, and not to break their lives. Of your ex-wife and your child. I think you need to understand this and um, no need to explain more about this because for every woman this is the main in her life, her child. The second main fear is trafficking the people. I hope all of you know what does it mean and all of you I'm sure heard lots of hundreds of these awful stories 
then some foreign guy came to Ukraine, pretending to be a good guy, gave presents, were sweet, well-mannered, well-educated, make a good romance, and whatever he can do just to trick the lady, and if she falls in love, if she's not smart enough, if she didn't check the person before, and if she wasn't ready, she can be in a trap. And lots of cases happen still, so people try to take care about this, they are cautious, and even if they go abroad, some people try to get even phone numbers of specific services, you know, when you can call and claim for help, and these people will help you. So guys, if the, some lady still using even matchmaking services, they still have no guarantee because nobody check thoroughly the man who is coming here and who is taking the person abroad to another country. Sometimes we even cannot be sure what future is waiting for her there. So in this case, we always recommend women to ask for men about his criminal record check to spend him with him time as much as she can, to learn about him as more as she can, to ask him questions, and not to be hurry with the marriage, with the stamp just. You know, you can just steal some period of time and we could recommend like maybe some woman can go to your country and to stay with you like a couple of months to see how it goes, to see your friends, to see your relatives, to be sure about your character. Of course, you can never be sure, but at least you will try to protect yourself from such situations. So, please don't forget, if your lady is too suspicious and she asks you too many questions, it's not because she is bad or capricious. Maybe she just try to protect herself, her future, and to be sure in you. So she's just collecting information to be sure. That's it, guys.